Thank you for joining our Dynamics GP Healthcare Web Series. Today we'll be focusing on a hot topic for healthcare organizations, tracking certification and licensing. Let's take a look. Here we're looking at the home page of Dynamics GP. I'm going to pull up Adam Barr, who is a massage therapist for Fabricam. HR professionals need to track his certifications and his licenses for his massage therapy. As we can see here, this is a certification entry window. We can track different types of certifications as well as their number, the agency they're issued by, as well as relevant dates, such as expiration date, original date issued, and date renewed. We can also track other information, such as additional endorsements that are relevant for the certification, and track history. Each certification can be set up individually along with their endorsements. You can set up the different fields, whether they're required or not required, on a certification by certification basis. We can see here that Adam Barr has his uh, certified medical assistant certification as well as his CPR certification. We can see for the CPR certification we have different fields that are required including only the ex expiration date down here in the middle of the screen. Let's take a look at his license. Adam has a number of licenses that are being tracked as well. Similar to the certifi certification screen, we can set up the license type, track the license number, as well as the agency, the date, and the, and the relevant dates. Again, you can track unique endorsements against each license type, as well as the history. So let's run some queries and reports to see how many of our licenses across our department are accurate and up-to-date. I'm going to go into an inquiry window that's going to look across just my massage institute for my supervised uh, massage therapist. I can see here across the organization I have only 50 percent of those are up to speed on their CPR certifications. Let's drill down a little deeper and look at just those certifications that are current. We can see here that Angela has updated certification for both CPR as well as her ACE certification. We can look, on the other hand, at Adam Barr, who has expired on both of his certifications. We can set up a, and, and drill down on employee-by-employee employee basis as well as look across the organization on a required basis. You can also set up and say, for each different type of certification, what is required uh, for my certifications and my license based on my department and position. So very quickly I have information that I can track on an employee-employee basis about the unique certifications and the licenses that are required. I can also query across my organization or drill down on a department or position to look to see what of those certifications or licenses are up to date, current, missing, expired, or incomplete? So now I've given you a very quick overview of the Dynamics GP HR functions that are relevant for healthcare organizations for tracking certifications and licensing. Thank you.